The Chimera Ray Gun, probably one of the most underrated weapons in all of Fortnite, at least in my opinion. Definitely this season is the most underrated weapon because we have a lot of good weapons this season and I see nobody really using it. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't see anyone but bots using it. And I'm actually, I've been using it quite a bit recently. It's not nearly the best weapon. I'm just here to say that it's underrated. So I'm here to help you get better with it. I'm here to give you some tips. I'm here to give you what I've learned through playing with the Chimera Ray Gun because I do actually use this in game. So sit back, relax. If you'd like to listen to me, let me know what you think and uh, we'll talk in the comments afterwards. So I'll tell you my story with this thing in a little bit. When the first season started, we have a lot of really, really cool weapons in the game that you were trying out. The rail gun's really good. The recon scanner is really good. We had some unvaulted stuff. You know what? There's a lot of different guns to play around this. So the first time I picked up the Chimera Ray Gun, I was like, wow, this is really cool. You charge it up, you shoot it, it's like a laser. But then I quickly found out to go, wow, this thing's complete garbage. And I never actually picked it up again, but up until maybe about a month ago. The reason I actually didn't end up picking up in the game one day is like a combination of two things. One, I just like using really weird guns in Fortnite. I like playing Fortnite. If you know me, I would play with any weapon really I can pick up just to make things for fun you know I don't really care about winning or anything like that also a combination of that with playing creative and I really really like the charge shotgun that's my favorite shotgun I think that I wouldn't say it's underrated but I would say like I can't believe more people aren't using this you know you know what I mean in that sense I think the charge shotgun is really really good a lot of people don't like how it plays though because you have to charge it up and then I, I was thinking like so I thought the same thing with the charge shotgun at first. You go, oh, you need a shotgun. When you this thing was first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3, yeah, I picked it up and I go, a shotgun that you need to charge up? Man, you have to play really, really passively with this. And that's really different for Fortnite. You can't edit, you can't shoot once with a pump. And you gotta be quick because Fortnite can be a very, very fast-paced game, especially if you're playing, like, getting into a build fight in squads or something like that. You need to take out a gun quickly and shoot. That's why the lever action is so good really quickly because you can pull that out thing and shoot really, really fast. The attack shotgun, you can keep spamming. The charge shotgun was very different. You had to charge it up. You couldn't just like click and shoot because you'd lose to a pump almost every single time. You'd have to like change your complete play style. Anyways, I'm talking way too much about the charge here. <laughs> I picked it up because I learned the charge shotgun after not liking it the first time. And I go, you know what? You do have to charge up the Chimera Ray Gun. But at the same time, you do have to charge up the Rail Gun. And you do have to charge up the charge shotgun. This thing could be good. And then I ended up picking it up. And little did I know, I actually really, really liked it. The Well, I will say, the rarity doesn't really matter. But the reason I really kept using it and kept finding it is because the UFO abductors, they kept bringing you down. And that's something you find really, really common in the chests up there once you complete the game. Especially if you get gold. You go, oh my god, look at all the Chimera Ray Guns. And I kept picking them up, kept using them. I thought for some reason the gold one would be better at the beginning but then i found out that rarity doesn't really matter so moving into how to actually use this thing you need to think of it as a way you cannot use this like an smg with your pump you can use a pump and a chimera ray gun you can use it in the same inventory but don't use it with the same play style that you would use like a pump and a regular smg because i guess this thing is classified in SM as an smg but you get the point it's not an smg you can't shoot the pump and like if you're fighting somebody you pump them and switch to your smg you have to charge up that ray gun it takes like especially if you're gonna fight that's a long charge up time before you start shooting to just do like 11 or 7 damage and that it is that little I don't think I don't believe you go over 11 just I, I'm not 100% the point is around that damage it's not enough the guy will 200 pump you or pump you and take out his SMG no matter what he's using or shoot you a couple times with attack by the time that ray gun is done charging up so actually I think the best way to use this gun is really like an assault rifle think of this thing as an assault rifle with no bloom think of it as like not an infantry rifle an automatic assault rifle with no bloom something I do need to tell you though is if you're just sitting in one spot and firing it the reticle will go up and left and down it will move just a little bit but nothing significant if you're in control I feel like aim assist will really help you in that regard but it, it honestly I didn't even notice it until I paid attention to it because every time I've used it it's very very accurate as long as you can keep your marker your reticle on your opponent you'll hit them it, it's not like trying to fire the LMG where the thing's going doo -doo 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 -doo, you know like it's like everywhere and you, you can't really zoom in with it speaking of zooming in you can't really zoom in with this thing or you can't really zoom out with this thing you can't hit fire it you can but it, it kind of goes that's when it starts to go everywhere like I was talking about with the LMG you can't hit fire this thing so I think it's good if you scope in with it and use it kind of like an assault rifle because this thing melts people surprisingly fast and the lowest amount of damage it will do is seven and you can this thing has some range the reticle will always stay just as big you will hit people from so far away with this thing honestly um if you don't believe me try it out because i'm about to tell you something absolutely ridiculous here beam people launch padding in the sky with it beam people flying up in the ufo abductors the sky bases you, you you get the point people far away beam them you will be surprised about how well you do with that that thing is so accurate and it melts people if you can keep it on them for even just one second you will take off so much more health that thing again it just melts people i'm telling you you need to try that that's probably the thing that i do most with this thing is i carry it almost like a sniper i don't snipe people with it 
because it'd be easy to like, oh, they get hit and you just they just take 11 damage and then build. It's to use like an assault rifle. People are in a build fight. People are distracted. Nail them with it. Don't use it like an SMG. Use it like a long range assault rifle. Kind of actually maybe what the heavy AR was supposed to be, but the heavy AR sucks because it has so much bloom. The heavy AR, I remember when the heavy AR first came out in all back chapter one, you could beam people out of the sky with that thing. It was incredible. I, I'm getting a lot of the same vibes. I know that's really weird to say. Just trust me. Just give it a try. And if I'm wrong, come back and tell me. But you won't be telling me I'm wrong unless you're absolute garbage. <laughs> The big point I need to make with this thing is if you play it and don't treat this thing like an SMG, you will be surprised about how good it is. I think this is the most underrated weapon in the season. I'm not saying it's the best weapon in the season, not even close, but I think it is incredibly underrated and I think you guys should give it a shot using it. The abductors are back in the game now. You guys should allow yourselves to get abducted. When you get that gold loot, pick up that Chimera Ray Gun. Let me know what you think. And again, come back here and tell me I'm wrong because you're not going to tell me I'm wrong. You're going to find that thing's actually pretty good. Again, just think the most important thing, use it a little bit more long range than short range because short range you'll get 200 pumped really really quick and guys that's pretty much all i got for you i was probably rambling about this thing way more than i thought i would be but that's how it usually goes with these videos guys let me know if these tips were helpful let me thank and let me know what you think of everything come back and talk to me down in the comments thank you so much for watching if you're new here and you enjoy the content please consider hitting the like button it would help with the channel time i definitely just stuttered there and <laughs> subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this and smash bros content a little bit more con random content i've been branching out getting into twitch a little bit lately follow me on tiktok at clen underscore yt and if you'd like to use my supporter creator code in the item shop it is clen dash goko hashtag ad i am a hashtag epic partner thank you so much for watching guys let me know what you think trust me use this gun let me know what you think i will see you in the next video guys take care